Hey guys, it's Rob and this is just my uh, Hobby King Alien 560 quad. Uh, just showing you how stable the hover is in uh, GPS mode with the NASA light. And I've just got my transmitter on the ground there, so I'm not even actually flying it. Just in uh, GPS hover mode. It's a little bit windy in the yard at the moment, but as you can see, it only goes up and down a few inches. It's got a barometer, which measures the altitude, and it's actually quite accurate. And uh, yeah, the GPS is just holding beautifully. And this thing flies for about 15 minutes just on a 3S 5000 milliamp hour LiPo. And once again, the transmitter's just over there on the ground. So yeah, like, like my comments said in the post, uh, the NASA Light, it's probably not the best board if you want to fly fast or aerobatics, but um, it certainly does a good job of just hovering and holding the quad steady. Okay, I'll go back and I'll take it up a bit higher. Basically, to get it to hover in one altitude, you put the stick, the throttle stick, right in the middle. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just move it forward, and you'll see it goes up fairly quickly. I'm not really doing anything else, it's just climbing in a vertical GPS column. And if I put that stick back, the throttle stick, right back to the middle, it will actually just hover at that new altitude. Okay, we'll bring it down again. Just by lowering the throttle slightly, you'll see that it descends. Otherwise, I'm not doing anything else. I'm not touching any of the other controls. It's just holding its GPS position. So, you now just move that throttle. Let me just go back into a lower altitude. And now I've got the throttle back in the middle. So it's just going to sit at that altitude. Now when uh, when the battery starts to become low, it will automatically descend, land and shut off the motors. So there's a lot of safety precautions built in. Thanks for watching.